they, uh, we said, so seeing what you've seen for, for in the financials, uh, and again, they reported Q4 and the overall year, what do you think our year as marketers and media buyers will look like that's different next year compared to last? Yeah, I think if we compare to last year and we're looking at 23 and we're looking at this, you're talking about this coming year of 24 mm -hmm. and what the differences are between them, I think that you're going to continue to see uh, in media buying itself and in campaign serving and or ad serving and in campaign structure, you're going to see more AI and uh, automation being utilized, which I don't think is a surprise to anyone. There's going to be more consolidation. There's going to be more copy that's AI generated. There's going to be images that are AI generated, the backgrounds of those images, etc. I think you're also going to start to see more interactive advertising is going to be a big theme. So Shopify has finally rolled out the ability to do 3D modeling on your own, basically from your iPhone if you're a Shopify store owner. So you're taking photos of things, you're able to do 360 images around them, and that's going to be integrated in the, in the meta shopping experience, which is different than Amazon, which in my opinion, you go into Amazon and you look at a listing on Amazon, it's... It's like shop. It's like the Walmart versus Target. Like there's something inherently cooler about Target in the United States. You know, it has a better brand, and I think that's kind of what we're coming upon here. So there's going to be more uh, interactivity, which is likely going to realize higher AOVs are going to be more stable on the Meta platform. I think is kind of one piece. Um, I also think that from an advertiser standpoint, you're going to continue to see more ability for cost controls to be put into your campaigns. So being able to say, I only want to spend X amount of dollars or I only want to have a conversion if it's this amount. That wasn't something that was within the early adoptions of ASC that is currently within the adoptions of ASC and it's continuing to get better. So I would expect to see that a lot more as well. Um, and I think th th a final theme from an advertiser standpoint is there's, there's going to continue to be more and more product tagging that allows you to go either to the website or to the shop, likely to the shop first. So it, your product catalog becomes continues to be exponentially important. Your meta shop and the Instagram shop continues to be exponentially important if you're an e-commerce advertiser. Um, and I think that ecosystem and the way that it works is, is um, only going to continue to get better and bigger. Um, so those are kind of the big, I'd say some of the big ones uh, looking this year versus last year. Last year was still a lot of, discussion around attribution mm -hmm. it was especially in the first half of 23 and it was uh, a lot of discussion around measurement and it was um testing ascs but not seeing the stability and now we have a big adoption rate on ascs and now it's the ability of how do we utilize ascs and and you know kind of lean into the ai while also still having some control about what we're we're trying to put out there